Hey YouTube, time for a shrimp tank update, December 2016. Alright YouTube, we're going to do uh, the last shrimp tank update for the year. Um, we'll just start off down here in the basement, kind of like I always do uh, with these four tanks. Um, as always, the, uh, the A through S grade Crystal Reds are doing phenomenal. They just continue to breed like crazy. Um, there's babies all over in this tank and uh, things are doing real well. I've always got these for sale and uh, pretty much constantly I'm selling them. So if you are looking for some nice starter Crystal Reds or even um, if you're an experienced uh, shrimp keeper and just want some nice crystal reds, hit me up and uh, I do sell these all the time. I ship uh, nationwide. Next door here is the kind of Tybee experiment tank and uh, not doing real well. I'm down to just a couple of Tybees left. Um, something hit this tank, I'm not quite sure what, but it killed off almost everything as far as the uh, PRL slash Crystal Reds and the Royal Blue Tigers. Um, I don't know what happened, but I'm going to break down this tank and uh, and uh, start over. But I do want to continue to try to do some tie bees, so I'll either combine some Tigers and um, Taiwan Bees or try the uh, PRL and uh, Royal Blue Tigers again just to see what I can get. Um, there's one crystal looking one back there. Another tie bee right here by this tube. Not sure if it's coming in, but anyway. Disappointing to say the least, but I'll uh, well, there's another tie bee on this leaf here. There could be quite a bit more. I got such a huge clump of uh, subwasser tang in here. So anyway, next door is some more crystal reds. These are a little bit higher grade. Had some babies going on in here, and I've got at least one, maybe two buried females. There's one right here, one of the buried females. Um, so I lost quite a few um, initially in this tank, but I'm um, thinking things are on the upstep now to rebuild. So um, as you can see, there's some babies in the petri dish here. So that's good. <coughs> Excuse me. Next door is the PRL tank. I recently switched out the substrate on this. I've got the SL Aqua going on in here now. So we're going to give that a shot. But as you can see, I totally mowed the lawn. Um, there were about 40 PRLs actually in here, including babies. Um, not a ton of adults left, um, which I knew. I mean, I lost a bunch of them over the last several months since I got this colony. But you can see some babies on that um, almond leaf right there. So that's a good sign. Um, hopefully we can uh, kind of replenish this colony and uh, go from there. I was thinking about ordering some more PRLs, but then I thought, well, maybe I'll just see what this colony right here can do with itself. Because these are offspring from E2s, which are a good line. And uh, I don't know that I want to mix anything else in here if I don't have to. But anyway, so that's going decent. Um, over here on the top Taiwan B tank, um, Still not going as good as I had hoped, but you know things aren't a total loss yet. I switched the uh, substrate out because it was uh, time. And when I pulled shrimp, there were about 40 in here. They just don't always come out. Um, some adults, some sub-adults, some babies. So um, I'm hoping that now that we have a, a new substrate in here that uh, things will do better. Um, the pH just wasn't buffering like it should in this tank, um, which I'm hoping was the only problem. There could be other problems that I'm not aware of, but at any rate. Down below, this Taiwan B tank is flourishing. Um, there's well over 100 in here, I would say. Um, I'm not going to do anything at this point to make any changes, but 
quite a bit of breeding. The one downside is the, I'm just going to call them bolts, um, but some of the, well, red bolts, I guess, are pretty white. Um, the ones I got were almost white, if not um, just a little pinkish maybe, and their offspring now seem to be pretty much white. Not that I'm complaining, I think pure white shrimp look really cool. I don't know that I need a bunch of pure white shrimp though in this Taiwan B tank. And they may color up though too as they start to get older and, and look like nice red bolts. So um, at any rate, that's what's going on in there. Um, don't really have any red bolts that survived in this tank. I had gotten some fairly recently, and that's disappointing. But whatever is was going on in this tank, you know, I just was having a hard time keeping shrimp alive overall, especially babies. So maybe we'll get some more red bolts and give that another shot here. Um, we'll head over here. A lot of good signs over on this side of the room. Um, these uh, these red neos, um, which are the ones that people used to know as savage reds, um, they're doing okay. I'm not getting deaths or anything like that. I just am not getting a lot of breeding um, at this point. But uh, the the adults I have, uh, most of them are pretty nice in color. That might be a buried female over on here on the filter. It's kind of hard to see from where I'm looking at. But uh, Royal Blue Tigers are doing awesome as always. These are always available for sale, so if anyone's looking for Royal Blue Tigers, hit me up. They're over there eating right now, so it's kind of hard to see, but... Down below here, my PFR tank. For those of you that are new, Painted Fire Red. I have to do some calling definitely in here, but getting a ton of breeding. Um, there's babies all over. You can see on top of these filters over here. Ton of babies. Ton of babies just all over the substrate. So that's a real positive sign. This tank, pretty much everything had died off at one point. I had regular tigers in here and uh, some PFRs, and they were thriving, both of them, and then I lost pretty much everything. I, um, had a few PFRs that did survive, and I added a couple more sometime back, um, and from that, I've just really had good luck all of a sudden, so that's good. And, I mean, there's buried females here right now, too, so. Now, down below here is the Crystal Blacks. Can't remember if on my last update I had mentioned that I did add some more to this colony. Added some, some of the higher grade SS to SSS. Um, a local guy that I had sold some of mine to back when I had him was selling off of his selling off his colonies, and so I bought all of his, uh, or I think all of his uh, crystal black, the higher grade, and I've just got them mixed in with uh, the lower grade for this point. I may separate out at some point, but so this colony's doing pretty good. I did see some babies recently in here. Um, yeah, there's some. They're starting to grow out a little bit. There's you can see some smaller shrimp um, within this pile. Over here are the Aura Blues. There's only a couple left. Um, not sure what happened, but anyway, we're gonna try to give another shot at that. There's at least three I can see in there right now, so I'm gonna put some black substrate in there and give it another go. Green Jades are doing good. They breed like crazy. I typically am selling these. Right now I don't have enough available that I feel comfortable selling. I want to get this colony really bumping, so. But uh, yeah, they're doing good. And then up here, um, this, <laughs> this colony is basically red rillies slash orange neos, I'm gonna call them. Um, I, as you know, I've had I had a long time ago I had a red really colony sold it off and never seemed to be able to I shouldn't say get rid of but there was always some 
red rillies, the little babies that stuck behind, and I've moved them around from tank to tank, blah, blah, blah. And over time, they probably bred with some other Neo of some sort. And so some of these uh, orange Neos, orangish colored Neos, I guess, are in here. But there are some nice, real, uh, regular red rillies still, too. And they've just all of a sudden taken off, and they're breeding like crazy, too. So I'm just going to let this one sit and blow up for a while and see what happens and then decide if I want to I'll probably call some call some out and have a red really colony again I guess I'm not sure I really want this tank to be for red tigers actually but I'm gonna wait until things get a little bit better under control in the fish room or the shrimp room whatever you want to call it um, blue dreams up here are doing great um, they're having babies and they're uh, surviving, growing out, so that's nice. Got some really nice colored ones, so that's always a plus too. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what this colony does. Uh, I'm really hoping that it expands. So that's this corner of the basement. We'll go upstairs and show you the last few tanks. Okay, so we're up in the office here to get the last few tanks, and we'll start here with uh, this 90 gallon where I have uh, uh, these uh, cherries, uh, red neos, whatever you want to call them. A lot of these are painted fire red grade. Um, I lost quite a few. I can't remember if I talked about this in my last video, but I had a loach in here that I thought I had gotten out, but he was hiding under this carpet of uh, Monte Carlo. Finally got him out, and uh, things are progressing a lot better. Um, I got um, a little over a hundred more. Ooh, there's a buried female. A little over a hundred more from uh, my buddy Carl, and. Uh, so uh, hopefully things are doing good in here. I've gotten rid of all of the um, Amanos as well, other than <laughs> I did see one rogue um, Amano in here the other day. So I do have to uh, try to find him and get him out. Oh, there he is right there, actually, on this rock. I'll, I'll zoom in. I don't know if that's picking it up or not, but he's back there and by those shrimp on that piece of dragonstone. But yeah, overall things are going good in this tank, and uh, most of the shrimp in here turned out to be pretty, pretty good quality. So I'm happy about that. There's a buried mama going back into this cave here. So um, hoping to get some good breeding going on in here. Down below is the uh, yellow neos. Doing all right. Um, would like to see a lot more breeding than I have been, but. It is what it is, um, so we'll continue to just uh, monitor this and hopefully uh, get some good things going out of here at some point. Over here is not very good news. This is the uh, Tangerine Tiger tank. I'm down to just a few. Um, can't even see any right now. But a couple things happened in here. Um, number one, I did a check one day and I didn't see any shrimp. Oh, there's one. And so I started looking around and I'm like, what happened to, you know, I had like 20, 20 or so shrimp in here that were doing good. And all of a sudden I opened the door over here and noticed they were all behind this matten filter. What had happened was the air stone in this matten filter got clogged. And it may have been not running for a couple of days, but so there was no flow going out. So I'm assuming what happened was they were able to crawl in through the tube over here. And they all got over onto this side. Why they came over here, I'm not sure. But I fished them all out, got the matten filter going again. And then at the same time, I noticed that the temperature was really cold. I don't have a heater in this tank because it's in a room that's you know typically had a good temperature. And, uh, but we had gone, been going through a real cold spell around here, and um, it got pretty cold, so I put a heater back in. And I think a little bit of uh, the fact that the filter wasn't running, and I did a temperature change maybe a little too drastically, um, started just killing these guys off, few, you know, like one every day over a period.
period of a couple weeks. So now I'm down to just uh, less than five in here, I think. I may sh um, do a substrate switch before I try Tangerine Tigers again, or I may not even try them, I'm not sure. Just haven't had good luck with them. Final tank is up here. This is just a call tank. Calls from Green Jade and Red Rilly and stuff like that. A little bit of everything, so um, there's nothing too colorful in here, but there's... <laughs> There's breeding going on, so we'll see what, uh, you know, it's kind of good just to have a call tank that you can throw anything into, so that's what this tank is, at least for the time being, going to be. A little bit of algae there, so you can't see these guys that are feeding right now, but anyway, that's what's going on up here in the office. Alright guys, that's all I've got for this week. Um, depending on when I upload this, I hope you all had a great Christmas, and um, have a happy new year. I'm looking forward to some big things in 2017 with my shrimp and my fish for that matter. Uh, for those of you that are maybe first time viewers, um, I'd really love for you to subscribe. I post regular updates on all my aquatic endeavors. Um, I keep a lot of freshwater fish and I keep a saltwater reef tank as well. Here's a little quick glimpse if you've never seen it before of my basement fish room. Quite a bit of cichlids here but anyway this video is more about the shrimp. So please subscribe if you're new, please share this video, uh, comment, let me know what you're thinking. Um, if you're interested in, in purchasing any shrimp from me, uh, my email will be in the description below this video. Just contact me via email and we'll go from there. Um, as always, thanks for watching and take care.